Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So I'm actually gonna go see my friends after not seeing them for months and I thought why not make them some treats um, to surprise them with. So I'm gonna try and do some Nutella cupcakes and also show you guys how I make them. I'm so excited because I tried doing cupcakes the other day and it was so yum. But today it's gonna be a more chocolatey flavor. So I'm really excited to do this and I'm, I'm just gonna do a voiceover because it's more chilled and I feel like you guys prefer it. It's just relaxing, isn't it? It's like very satisfying. I love baking videos, guys. <laughs> Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Kiana Duran. So, thank you so much for hitting the bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So, yeah, we'll jump straight onto it then. So, the first thing that I'm going to use is 350 grams of self raising flour. And I'm just going to sieve this through just to get the big clumps out. And it's just going to make a nice, moist, fluffy cupcake and now I'm going to use 370 grams of caster sugar and then also 60 grams of cocoa powder this is the Bourneville one that I use but if you have a better quality one then feel free to use that one as well but if you have good recommendations of cocoa powder let me know in the comments below and I was actually quite surprised at how many lumps there was in the cocoa powder so I used my whisk to kind of like help it go through but the big big chunks I just left out and threw it away I'm also just putting around one teaspoon of baking soda and you just want to give this a good mix with your whisk just make sure everything is nicely incorporated together And then here I've actually chopped up some milk chocolate. You can use dark chocolate if you want. Um, and I think I use around 150 grams and you can just dump it in. And actually this gave a good texture to the cupcake. So now I'm using some cold coffee, literally some espresso um, instant coffee, um, some buttermilk, three eggs and some vegetable oil. Literally it's so, so simple guys. All the measurements will be um, written in the info box if you guys wanna know what I use and I just want to give this a quick mix I actually um, use some vanilla extract you that's optional you can totally skip that part and oh my god I suck at voiceovers I mean, I mean you know that already guys <laughs> so next I'm just gonna slowly add in my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients and slowly mix this together Um, I did this in two parts and it was actually very easy to mix just keep it slow at the beginning and then you'll see it should make a really nice thick consistency so once it looks like that I'm gonna grab my cupcake tin I don't even know what this is called and I use muffin cases not cupcake cases because I find them are quite small I prefer the bigger ones um, and I just love putting this I just love this step I don't know I find it really satisfying just to make it easier I put the mixture into a jug so that I can easily fill the cases up and this is the part where I, it was really like trial and error for me with my previous cupcakes I feel that you need to like fill it like halfway or halfway to like three quarters but nothing over three quarters so I'm now going to put this in the oven for 24 minutes at 170 degrees celsius so now we can move on to our buttercream I'm using 250 grams of unsalted butter which is at room temperature and you want it to get it really nice and fluffy I whisk it for like 10 minutes or so and now I'm going to use some icing sugar I used around 570 grams in total I know that's a lot but it's a yummy buttercream okay I just love just normal buttercream I think this is American buttercream but it's so so yummy and I do it in two parts so I'm, I do uh, I think it was like 280 five grams at each time so once you give that a mix slowly i also add in some milk just to like give it the right, right consistency so if it's too thick add some milk if it's too liquidy add some more icing sugar now for the start of the show i'm actually putting a lot of nutella i just eyeballed this i put a bunch in honestly like four big scoops like really big scoops and it gave the most nicest taste to the buttercream and um, it's the first time i think i put this much nutella in my buttercream but it was so so nice and yeah here i'm just adding some more of course 
and also some mi milk like I said just play around with the milk and the ingredients to just get the right consistency um, in the end I wish it was a little bit thicker but you know I'm still learning I ain't no professional okay <laughs> and I went in with some more milk I feel like I could have stopped here but I added more milk you know um, but yeah just give it a quick mix I actually want to make my cupcakes again because they're all gone and I kind of miss them now. But I added more milk. Wow. I definitely didn't need that much, but um, like I said, just play around with your ingredients. So now I'm going to scoop it into a piping bag. And I took the kind of like rose nozzle head and I go from inwards to out and I find that it's way better and it looks way neater. Um, I'm not that good at making those like rose effect kind of like buttercream but like here you can see I'm going outwards in and it doesn't look as good honestly it just looks so messy so yeah I loved this like this was just so satisfying to do so therapeutic and I really really enjoyed it. Um, and I love that how like every single one came out really neat. So because I wanted to give these to my friends, I bought these cupcake boxes from Amazon and I was so, so pleased with them. It was really affordable for like, I think six. So I'll link them in the info box if you guys are interested in them, but they were so handy. The cupcakes stayed safe when I bought it to my friends and it just makes everything look so presentable and neat. And I made four for each of my friends. So yeah, here I'm just um, using some Nutella. I actually melted some in a piping bag in the microwave for like 10 or 20 seconds just drizzle it on top to give a little finishing effect and honestly this was the most yummiest thing i've ever had you'll see my reaction in a bit but even just this drizzling part again you know the drill is so therapeutic guys so yeah that's the box it looks cute i made all three of them here i can't tell you how excited i was to give these to my friends but this is my one that i'm going to try in a bit and just look how cute it is my husband doesn't like the buttercream so i did some with just the nutella all right guys my beautiful cupcake is here i put all the cupcakes in boxes and i'll actually vlog a bit tomorrow so you guys can see their reactions i literally can't wait to give it to them they, they'll probably have no idea that i've done this but i just love like gifting stuff to people like making stuff for people so um i just hope they'll like it but right now we're gonna taste this i mean this looks bomb very rich oh my god look I'm so pleased with that. Okay, taste test time, if I can. Stop it. Look how moist and fluffy that is. Stop it. I'm trying to taste test here, people. I'm trying to taste test. I've already taste tested it. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. How much would you rate it? A nine. I oh, know it's so good in it. I think I need more than one. Mmm. <gasps> What's on the top? What's the cream? The normal butter cream I do. It's not crunchy in it. No, it isn't. In the in the cupcake, there's bits of chocolate. Oh. There's the chocolate chips. I shall mine in my mouth. Oh my god. I want to finish this. Mm. Oh my god, I think this is the best thing I've made. That is the best thing I've made. Okay. Alright guys, I'm so pleased with the result. Tomorrow you'll see me all glammed up. So hopefully that will make up for the state I am today. But I'm so excited for my friends to taste these. I'm so excited to get their feedback. And honestly, I'm so proud of these. Um cupcake um i just wanted to mention that i used cupcake Gemma's uh, cupcake recipe um which i'll link in the info box i absolutely love her and her channel i really need to um visit her shop one day because it's in soho and i feel like i should you know i need to so yeah i will see you tomorrow all right guys it's the next day i look a little bit more presentable um and i've put all i've put all the cupcake boxes in here they look really good still guys i'm with the girls Finally! Oh, look at Ion! Is that Ion? He's so cute! We're still waiting for Mia. Hi! He's making me wanna 
have a baby. I want a baby. Have a year off. I want a baby. Hello. I did a video. Yeah. yeah. And I made you guys cupcakes. Now I was gonna ask about that here, what are you carrying? But then I thought I saw the cupcake, yeah? Yeah. And then I thought you normally go for a topping before you come and everyone that. exactly you guys know me, I always do that. Oh like my cake. You should have okay. this one. This one now I won't have the time to be honest. Maybe the weekend It's Nutella. Because it's, nut it's Nutella. Look at them sniffing it. This is how it is there. Well, I hope you guys will like it. Message me and let me know what you think. Yeah. Put it on your stories, Mia. Yeah, I do a review. I am a review as well. Why did you have to ask permission? Well, I have to. No, no, uh, ask the manager. Okay. Okay. my manager. <laughs> Me is finally here. I got you something. Why are you always really getting us something? I made you cupcakes. cupcakes yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna say no. What oh, wait is it? Nutella? Or? Yeah, Nutella. I think like out of all the stuff I've made, that's my best one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His mum, like, he's slowly going back. Guys, I kind of regret wearing jeans, so I'm just gonna um, <laughs> slightly unbutton them. Yes, unzip it as well a little bit. There you go, let the belly out, guys. So, Ion approves of the cupcake, like, he's literally going for some. You know what made me decry after you eating the milk cake? Yeah. No. You need to try it, it's so good. It looks so good as well, the most part too. Shake it up first. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 